Hello guys, today is Thursday and I'm back in Georgia now. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlogs from when I was in Boise. Um, it was a really great trip and I really, really appreciate and have been loving reading you guys' comments on the last few vlogs. I always love reading my comments, but you guys are just so supportive and kind and I really, really appreciate it. It makes me feel really good to know that like you guys are just happy for me. Thank you for your kind words and your support because I really do notice it and see it. I am kind of out of it right now. Um, for a couple reasons. I'm just very hungry because I haven't eaten yet today and it's like 4 p.m. Um, I had a very long travel day yesterday so I'm actually really glad I wasn't vlogging yesterday because it was a horrible situation. It's just like not even worth going into but United Airlines is my least favorite airline. I already knew that I didn't enjoy flying with them but I had a really bad experience with them yesterday and it was totally just out of my control obviously but it was just like such a long day. I'm very happy to be home so I slept super late today because I got home really late and um, I need to go and like eat some food but me and my mom are gonna go around a couple of errands. I have to take a couple of Depop orders and then me and my mom are going to vote because there is is a special election in the Georgia 6th district right now and I'm still registered to vote here which is freaking awesome because I voted in like 2012 when it was my first time voting. I took a shower and my hair's like half wet half dry so it's looking a little crazy it's like really not looking its best but you know what can you do it's really not a big deal. I think that's all I wanted to say this was like a very long intro so <laughs> welcome to the vlog. Okay guys we just voted Look at our little sticker, where's yours? I'm a Georgia voter, I haven't had this since 2012 on me. It feels good. It was very easy, that was so efficient. Um, if any of you guys live in the sixth district, so Fulton County, Cobb County, and one other county, do you know the other one? Mm, do not know. You guys will probably know. You can early vote until today when you guys see this, until Friday, and the actual election is on the 20th, so you can vote then too. So we just voted. We're feeling good. It was super fast. You did your Woo! Okay, I just got home and I got something exciting in the mail. Whoa, you guys. I think my wristband's like inside. But this is the festival that I'm going to um, in New York at the end of July. Scoop out the lineup. I'm basically going for Frank Ocean. Well, he's just like who's not who I'm most excited for because I've never seen Frank Ocean, but I'm also really pumped for MGMT, Alt J, Tame and Paula, who else? Cashmere Cat, Black, Snake Hips. There's so many good people on this lineup. I'm super, super pumped for this festival and because it's in New York City. So this is what the wristband looks like. It's like orange and yellow. Pretty cool. That was a nice surprise to get in the mail today because I was not expecting that even though I guess I could have been expecting it at any point. I also have my electric forest band and everything that's in. They send you a cute little, a cute little bag. This has been displayed right here on my mirror for like the past ever since I got it. I think I got it like three weeks ago or something. My eyelashes are looking crazy lately so I can't stop like looking at them being like, should I pluck them out? Should I just let them fall out? Because I'm not going to get them filled this time. Take a break from them for a couple months, I think. Even though I don't want to, I'm just going to because it's healthy for your lashes to take a little break from them every once in a while. But I think I got these ones almost a month ago, so they're definitely like falling out a lot recently. I got home. Me and my mom were not out for very long, but we, you know, did our voting. I went to the post office. We went to the fresh market and I got like some stuff to eat and I got some tissues because I feel like shit. Um, I got, I told you guys, I got sick like when I was visiting Sean and um, I don't know, it hasn't been like horrible. I don't know if I like have a cold or if I have a fever or something like a little bit more, but I have a very bad immune system because I'm just always sick. Like I get... I get sick so much and I have just like a shit immune system. I think I just need to like take better care of myself and probably eat better. Yeah, I'm just not feeling too hot today. Um, so I'm just gonna like chill out and do some Netflixing and just like lie around. I've been using, I'm super mucusy and I've been using like so many tissues and like coughing up all this gross mucus and it's just not fun. So I kind of feel like fevery and cold right now and um, I don't know, it's just dumb. Plus, what I want most of this vlog to be is um, tonight at midnight, Melodrama by Lord is coming out, which is 
the album that I've been waiting for for since 2013 and um, I'm sure a lot of you Lord fans can relate but thank god she has been dropping like singles um, I think already like half of the album has been released but the whole album is gonna be released tonight at midnight and I wanted to do like one of those like my reaction to melodrama or something so that's what I think I'm gonna have most of this vlog be so I'm just gonna be chillaxing honestly until midnight when I can hear the album my friends we haven't spoken in a few hours and it is about 11 p.m. right now and I was just texted a Google Drive link to melodrama by my incredible friend and my manager Katie Katie if you're watching this thank you my woman because honestly I am so tired and I probably will make it to midnight but I'm not very lively right now but this is about to wake me up <laughs> it's officially time to listen to melodrama and don't think that i'm cheating right now because i have already pre-ordered the album on itunes so i am not just gonna listen to it this way and not like really listen to the album like if i support any artist like i support lord more than anyone i would buy anything <laughs> she put out let's see there is 11 songs and um, four of them have already come out but I'm still for the sake of the vlog gonna play a little bit from every song so without further ado let's dive into melodrama and I looked for a speaker in my house and my parents are both asleep right now so I couldn't <laughs> ask them so I have to play it on my phone but for you guys' sake I'll put it like this. We ordered different drinks at the same bars. You guys probably already know Green Light, but this song makes me feel so I know alive. But I hear sounds in my mind. Like this part when it's building up. Brand new sounds in my mind. It doesn't feel appropriate to be sitting down. Do you know, sober? I feel like her voice in this song sounds like very different and unique. I don't know. I live for it. What is this song called? Oh, this is Homemade Dynamite. I haven't heard this one yet, so. A couple rebel top gun pilots flying with nowhere to be oh, Don't know you super well, but I think that you might be the same as me Behave abnormally, let's let things come out of the woodwork I do my best, I tell you all my best Ooh, yeah. you got a little like, awesome, right? a little bop coming in So quick Ooh. Okay, I just had a flashback. Lord sang this at Coachella, and that's the only time I've ever heard it. I remember that part. Potentially, that is going to be like one of my top songs on the whole album. Okay, number four is called The Louvre. The Louvre. This woman's voice just like paralyzes me. Like it makes me want to like dance, scream, and cry like all at the same time. I have like all the same moves. Like all I do is just like stuff with my arms. Like, like I have the lamest fucking moves. Like I shouldn't even be dancing on this vlog because I'm gonna regret it. Number six is called Hard Feet. I can't read the whole thing. I'll, I'll put it in right here when I edit this vlog. Go back and tell. And I was too close to you. Let's give it a minute before we admit that we're through. 
Laura's music has taken me through so fucking much. Like, just to be real for a minute, like, this is the music that makes me feel so much. Like, this is the music, this is the artist, these are the lyrics that, like, just resonate with me so hard. Like, ever since Lord released Pure Heroin in 2013, like, I just have so many memories of just, like, being in my car, like, moving to LA and just, like, blasting that album for months, like, alone in my car and just, like, belting all the lyrics and just, like, feeling every song. And, like, I feel like this album is more emotional and I'm not even like listening to the song but I just got like really really deep there number five is not on here so I think I skipped a song the next song is called sober two we told you this was melodrama as the evening passes cleaning up the champagne glasses I wish I wasn't listening to this on the iPhone right now, but like, I find I'm doing this. Hello. Hello. We have to know your thoughts, Squirt. This one is called Writer in the Dark. Stood on my chest and kept me down. I hate a little piano. Slow, too. Take my best to exist just for you. You rue the day you kissed the rider in the dark. Gonna play and sing and lock you in her But you rue the day you kissed the rider. I don't know how I feel about that one yet, but I'm only listening to like the beginnings of all the songs, so. In my head, I play a supercut of us. All the magic we like, I feel like I'm being baptized. Like the light, light is just like radiating on me right now. I feel a lot. You wanna come up? These ribbons wrap me up. But when I reach for you, there's just a super cut. Be your quiet afternoon crush. Be your violent overnight rush. Make you crazy over my touch. But it's just a super cut of us. Oh, I love this one. I really love this one. Stages and the stars, I turn all of it to just the super cut. Lula, do you like this show? I think she likes it too. Guys, that might be my favorite so far. Super cut. Okay, this is Liability Reprise. And Liability is probably my favorite, like, single that was released from the album before it came out. What you gonna do? Okay guys, the last song, I might have this out of order because this is the Google Drive link, but the last song is Perfect Places, which is another single that came out before the album and I love this song. The only way I know how to describe Lord after that is she is the mother I never had. She is the sister everybody would want and the friend everybody deserves. I don't know a better person. I don't know a better person. I have been baptized and obviously I only listened to the first parts of all of those songs and I listened to it on my phone. But um, t you are a camera hog and you look funny with your new haircut. Every single one of the dogs is on my bed right now. All I know is I'm going to be absolutely bumping melodrama the entire summer and I'm so glad it came out. Like, 
on a weekend when I'm actually like have nothing to do and I'm literally just going to blast it and like honestly I probably am going to be very emotional like actually sitting by myself listening to the album for the first time because it's kind of like an emo album like it's not a breakup album but it's like after Lord went through like some shit I love watching her interviews I'm just fascinated with her like I wish I could be her best friend like I wish not even I wish I could be her best friend I just wish I could like meet her and just like know her you know what I mean like not as a fan that's a lot, probably a lot of us out there so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I know I wasn't super lively today my head feels like a cloud like it feels so sinus pressure-y and just like <sighs> my best friend is just my tissues so I will see you guys on Saturday's vlog and um thank you for watching Every night I live and die Feel the party to my bones Watch the wasters blow the speakers Feel my guts beneath the outdoor light